About the fanciest knife I own is the Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 21, because everyone once in a while is allowed to do something dumb. It's a car payment of a folding knife that you can pass down to your children as long as you care for it properly. You know, like pretty much most knives. Now, whether they cherish it forever or donate it to Goodwill because it kind of looks lame is about a 50-50 toss-up. Not your problem. You're dead. To use a metaphor, if the Sabenza is a $400 Oreo, yeah, I'm not good at metaphors, you might settle for the Hydrox or Steel Will Resident instead, a lightweight, fancy pants pocket knife that is also half carbon fiber and titanium, but only costs $85. You're like, ooh, only $85 for a pocket knife. At least it ain't $455. Let's look at the overall length and weight and do the dimensions thing. I mean, this knife is in no way a Sabenza knockoff, but it has a Sabenza quality. Blade length and cutting edge. Smaller cutting edge than the large Sabenza. Handle size, grip area. A little small for my tastes on the handle. Spine, handle thickness. Yeah, there we go. And the tallness. I don't know, maybe Transformers and GoBots is a better one. The Resident, as a fraction of the cost of a Sabenza, starts off by saving money going the old Chinese D2 route. D2. Uh, D2. D2. D2 being not as corrosion resistant and wear resistant as a soft S35 VN made in a value labor country. The satin finished D2 blade features a drop point and a flat grind. The blade is still sharp, although this is a pass around knife and I think it belongs to Journey When Junk. But Nick Shabazz also gave it the old one too, too. I'll link videos or blogs. I don't know if Nick has posted his video yet though. Deployment is by a thumb disc. It opens fastly, due in part to a good detent because I can't get it to open by flinging it downward hard. Okay, I'd lie, I, I actually can. I wasn't, um, aware of that when I wrote this. Sorry. In communications with Mr. Shabazz, we discussed mainly adoptions, but he also mentioned the thumb disc scratched him. He showed a picture too. It has an edgy quality to my thumb, but not sharp. I experienced no scratches, but just smooth, consistent deployments. I'm not calling him a liar, but I'm just saying. The handle, much like my knife art edition of the Sabenza, is made from a frame lock side of bead blasted titanium and the other side of genuine carbon fiber. It's very lightweight and it feels good in the hand. The handle isn't massive and my pinky hits right where the butt of the handle rises upward. Cool. The handle is open back. It has a few blue standoffs, kind of like the Benchmade 941. Good for fans of blue things. The frame lock covers a little bit of the tang and I found it is not the most spine whack resistant. Not that you should be whacking it. The pocket clip is deep carry, positionable to all four possibilities. Tip up, tip down, right or left pocket, knock yourself out. The pocket clip is tight, but liftable with the finger and slides in the pocket nicely. I've been carrying it for over a week now, and I think it's a pretty good clip. Slides in the pocket easily, but holds tight. Comparisons, first the resident. Why wouldn't you buy this knife? Well, maybe you hate D2, need something a little larger for your hands. I'm just theorizing here. I wouldn't carry it because I prefer a Benchmade Axis Lock or a Spyderco Compression Lock for deployment. Those are both on more expensive knives though, so there's that. How about the Sabenza? Sorry, the, the Sabenza, ugh. 21 large. This knife sits in a box with other knives, quietly hoping to cut me one day for my insolence. Did I use that word correctly? This knife is good, it's just not my thing. How about the 941? This is a nice knife, it's weird looking, but a fast deployer and a good everyday carry. Also about an ounce lighter, not that anything under 4 ounces isn't light. 2.5 to 3.5 ounces is kind of like splitting hairs. Paramilitary 2. The knife is about 150 now or something. It's muy bueno. I prefer this in the 941 to the Sabenza or the Resident. Remember the Sabenza is a slightly larger knife and the Resident is slightly more fidgetable. All right, wrapping it up. Seeing as the relative lack of enthusiasm for my beer reviews over my knife reviews, I guess people need more knife reviews. Good for them. The knife is a decent buy for the money. I like my knives slightly bigger personally, nothing wrong with it. It is a refined lightweight knife made in the same vein as all the other knives here. No real difference in quality or quality control. Buy it if you like the looks or don't, I ain't your mama. If you like this review, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. 
leave a comment because it's the right thing to do. Do you remember Wilford Brimley? He was also the computer scientist in John Carpenter's The Thing. You're like, oh shit, that's right, he was in that. Thanks for watching.